Hello and welcome back to another episode of Market Scientist TV. I'm quite happy that we're approaching almost the 10 episode mark. Today, uh, we'll be discussing about flags, bull and bear flags. These both are continuation patterns and I'm sure you'll quite enjoy this lesson because it's going to be easy to identify them and easy to trade them and most of all they work extremely well in the Indian, con in the Indian context. Right, so let's get started. So what is a flag? Before I explain what a flag is, I think it's better that since we're all visual technical traders you should see one. So, this is what a flag looks like. It's made of two parts, the pole and the flag itself. So this sharp rise that you see here, this is the pole. This is basically markets rallying quite sharply as I, uh, I need to point out. A sharp move is important. Then we get a consolidation or a pause. After a quick run up, uh, we need Usain Bolt to pause and breathe for a while. After a move up, uh, we need a little bit of a pause and that pause comes in the form of a flag which is a small uh, retracement or a small pause in this up move and this basically means that the bulls are ready to buy at slightly lower prices because they believe that the previous rally should continue to move up because there is more uh, potential in the stock for whatever reason that they have. Now this does happen and we move up. So it's quite easy to identify one. This is obviously in an uptrend and we obviously want it to break out. We will not trade this short because this is a continuation pattern. We'll only buy in uptrends. Uh, it's the same for a downtrend. So I'm drawing um, an example here. Price is falling quite steeply. That would be our pole of the flag. And then retracing a little bit on the upside giving us our flag. Uh, we can mark it by uh, two trend lines moving upwards and basically the break of the trend line would mean that the stock is broken down and it should continue its move down. So why does a bull or bear flag happen? Let's take an example of a uptrend or a bull flag. You see, let's say Infosys beat the street, as we say, in, ter in terms of earnings. People were expecting uh, half a billion dollars in revenue, but they made, say, a uh, billion dollars. And it beat the expectations by a huge, huge margin, and prices will swiftly move up. Now, when that happens, uh, of course, this is a hypothetical example, we get a pause. And this pause is basically buyers drying up, evaluating the situation and two, uh, sellers waiting on the sideline to see what happens. You get the profit bookers who have made a certain amount of money to start exiting and the day traders to start exiting and you get a small retracement. Now why it's a small retracement is because you're getting a lot of buying pressure in this move down. Uh, you're getting people who miss the up move or are adding to the up move by buying on these certain points. And this is quite a good thing. It shows that the bulls are ready to buy at slightly lower prices still after moving so high up. So this pattern uh, I like quite a bit because when it does pull off, it does pretty well, especially um, on the major indexes. Do try and trade this on a slightly higher time frame like the 30 minute or the 60. Uh, because on the lower time frames like the 15 or 10 or any other lower time frame uh, it becomes a little difficult to identify them because there are a lot of bars and every retracement looks like a flag which is a bad thing uh, you should not get a lot of patterns on a on a chart because that just means that it, it just won't work you don't have an edge uh, so seeing this on a higher time frame actually helps a lot I have a few examples for you so let's have a look at them I have here Tata Steel, uh, we were in an uptrend as you can see and we made a flag, I'm marking them by uh, these two lines. There was no entry until the next day when the opening bar opened and we went up, so that was a good trade. The next chart I have is Larson and Tubro or l and this is also in an uptrend. Uh, I've marked it here. This part would be the pole and this would be the flag itself. And this did break out continuing the trend upwards. The other example that we have is Reliance 
power. Uh, this is a downtrend. Traders sort of have a love-hate relationship with our power after uh, its IPO a long time back. <laughs> but uh, we did get this downtrend here, a flag, which is uh, which I've marked with two lines and a continuation of that trend down by breaking that line downwards and a steep fall. So I hope uh, that was easy to remember and you should be able to spot these. There is no substitute for practice. I've been through at least a hundred thousand charts in my trading career and there's no reason you shouldn't do the same. There are tons of resources on the internet to learn how to trade. But until you don't convert that knowledge, that theory into what you understand of how you want to filter it, that knowledge does not become intelligence. So practice at home, get yourself charts, go through as many of them. The flag pattern is very easy to identify. So if you have any problem, you can always email us. I'll see you in the next episode where we'll be learning how you can put on trades for them. So see you then.